everyone and welcome back to the channel. A good while ago I addressed the topic of cats hiding and how to get a cat to come out and join the party. The various ways to capture a cat's attention and get them to follow your lead. In today's video I'll cover the topic of fear, stress, anxiety, because getting a cat to come to you is one thing. Getting them to come to you when some major external factor has sent them to a shelter spot well, that's quite another. And in some cases, you could just be dealing with a scared cat. As in a fearful cat in plain view. Not hiding at all, just refusing to seek comfort. Whatever the reason, there are a few things that you can do in an effort to ease the cat's fears and get them to respond to you. Of course, all of the measures that I'll mention will work a whole lot better if the cat in question is indeed yours. Nothing beats that bond of trust. Your first course of action, if at all possible, is to figure out what's going on. If a cat is scared, attempt to find the why of the matter and dissolve it if possible. Cats can get scared over just about anything and everything. It doesn't have to be something that we'd find alarming, so just keep that in mind. The terror could just be the ice cream truck stopped in the neighborhood. It could be anything. And while I do want to stay on task here on topic, Please just allow me to say that it's vital to allow your cat to get used to the visuals, the sounds of life, to live in your home and the sounds in and around your home, the neighborhood, your apartment, the ice machine, car doors, the washing machine, you name it. I just said that cats can get scared over just about anything. Yes, but, but, <laughs> try to reel that in if at all possible. I mean, if you're just sitting around and there's an earthquake, and your cat runs and gets under the bed in a panic, that's fine. Heck, I might be under the bed too, depending on the circumstances of it all. But if your cat jumps into another dimension, whenever you fire up the blender, well, there's a problem there, and that goes far beyond that sound alone. Because while it's vital to find the issue and deal with it, every sound shouldn't be an issue. So, just a little pit stop within this video, but I wanted to address that aspect of the fear and the hiding. Okay, now we're back on track. Outside of the fear of factor and locating the point of concern or points of concern, use a soft voice. Don't take a firm approach. Lower your standing, even your physical standing if you have to. The goal here is to make yourself open and accepting. If the cat feels any sense of intimidation, your objective is to wash all of that away. Soft voice, soft motions, easy and relaxed posture, and snacks and toys. Items of comfort, being able to supply a cat with comforting things, well, that's awesome, especially in the face of the storm, right? It's very appealing. Cats are more likely to let their guard down just a bit. If a comforting voice, welcoming posture, and familiar items are being presented, in the end, this is all just a work in progress, right? Especially if we're talking about your cat and not just some cat that you saw down the street. And I think odds would suggest that if you're watching this video, you're not talking about a scared feline down the street. You're talking about, you know, that cat that's about 10 inches to your left. Hmm. So much of getting a scared cat to come to you is to make it an effort to allow your cat, especially if you're talking about a young feline and a new cat in your home, just give them a trial by fire. Let them know and understand what normal sounds like. And it does indeed have a sound. Let them know that life has noise. This is the key because then they'll be able to tell the difference between the daily stuff and something of honest concern. This will help them and it will certainly help you. You'll spend less time using all of the tricks involved in this topic simply because your cat won't be running for the hills as soon as the loud sports guy yells touchdown on the television. Now keep those tips of advice in your back pocket, but that soft voice, the posture, the familiar things, all that's great, but 
Know that more than half of this battle does involve your cat being able to know the difference between the sounds of life and the sounds of trouble. Here again, trial by fire. While you're standing there, if they hear a scary sound, yet you'll be right there and nothing really happens, they'll make an association. And over the course of time, those live sounds will be just that, rather than a cause for alarm. Cats that are comfortable within their environment, they don't live in fear. Start with building those blocks of trust and what defines normal, and then work from there. So much of getting a scared cat to come to you, well, it often starts with your ability to help them eliminate their very own fears.